Breaking boundaries and taking up challenges is not just part of the game of cricket, but also part of cooking food. On that note, let's take a challenging recipe and dedicate it to our friends at Royal Challengers Bangalore. Hey guys, this is Varun Namdar and welcome to Indian Culinary League. The recipe that I've chosen to dedicate is Chicken Bhuna with Idiya Pums. On that note, let's begin with Chicken Bhuna, for which I've taken a kadai or a wok. In that, I'm adding in some oil. And while that's heating up, let's quickly chop an onion. The oil is heated up. Let's begin with tempering some cumin seeds. This is followed by curry leaves. And along with this, bay leaves. Give it a swirl and I'm going to add in the chopped onions. You can make this with chicken, you can make this with lamb, you can make this with mutton. The choice is completely yours. Now you would be thinking, why have I taken a recipe from Kerala and dedicated to a team in Bangalore? Well, that's a little nostalgic story there. Many years back, I used to work in a five-star deluxe hotel in Bangalore. And we had these little bikes that we used to scout around in the entire city with. And right at Alsur Lake, there used to be this little cart where this old man used to serve bhuna with idiopums. So I thought that'll be a nice little memory to share with you and also dedicate this to the team at Bangalore. On that note, the onions have become nice and translucent. Let's add in ginger, garlic and green chili, which I've roughly crushed. Time to add in the pieces of chicken. I've used boneless chicken breast, which I've washed, slit horizontally and I've diced it nice and fine. I'm deliberately using chicken breast for this recipe. Generally, if you do a lot of cooking, you would realize that the piece is leaner than the leg and thigh. It's a little drier. But with so much of onion going in, it kind of retains its juice. So next is adding in some spices. To begin with, red chilli powder, garam masala powder, turmeric powder and coriander powder. We now need to stir fry this on high flame. Give it a few tosses, ensure it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. And with this, let's make it a little tangier and add in tamarind. Just kind of using a little warm water and getting the pulp out of the tamarind. While that's just soaking for some time, let's salt the recipe. I'll add in some salt as required. I'm not going to use any water in this recipe because of course we have some water added in the tamarind and that would be enough. It's called chicken bhuna and bhuna in English is nothing but roasting on high flame. Time to add in the juice or pulp of tamarind. This is going to make it nice and tangy and that's also going to help the chicken in releasing the juices. Final few tosses, you can add in coriander at this stage. Now you would be assuming I spoke about challenge. Where is the challenge? The recipe is so simple. The challenge is coming next. Let's move on to making idia pumps. For the idia pumps, let's heat a vessel and in that I'm going to add in a cupful of water. Idia pumps are also known as thread hoppers. A little technically difficult to make, but trust me, I'm going to make it absolutely simple this time. The ratio of water to rice flour is equal. So one part of rice to one part of water. The next ingredient that goes in is some salt. Once the water starts simmering, I'll add in the same quantity of rice flour. Well, if you also wish to make the idia pumps softer, you could roast this slightly, ensuring the color does not change. Quickly, let's give this a stir. Well, you need to mix this till it kind of clumps and comes together. This flour is going to be cooked once again, just the way we steam an idli. So do not worry, it's not going to be raw at all. The mixture has come together. Let's transfer this in a plate. The next step is to knead this, but ensure that you do not get burnt with the steam coming in because the mixture, of course, has just come off the flame. To this, I'm adding in just a tablespoon of cold water. And along with this, just a touch of vegetable oil. Well, this one is my personal take. And over the years, I've realized that the idia pumps become nice and soft. Once the dough is nicely kneaded and soft, let's divide this into portions and transfer it in a kitchen tool like so. Well, this one is called a muruku press or a chakli press or a save press or an idia pump press. Well, idia pumps traditionally are made in a wooden press. But here, of course, in today's changing times, we have this metal one. So I'm using that. Let's transfer this like so. Once this goes in, I'm going to just brush lightly with some vegetable oil. 
this is so that once the dough goes in it kind of presses easily without getting stuck onto the sides let's transfer this into the greased tool and press it with the other part of the tool ensure it's locked nicely and the next step is to kind of run this and press it you will notice that you get these little laces which are nothing but thread hoppers but that's not where it ends the next step is to take the plate of an idli steamer and i'm going to place a banana leaf which is washed and cut and i'm going to lightly brush this with some oil the next step is to pipe these swirls of beautiful lace hoppers or thread hoppers you need to turn this around this of course requires a little bit of pressure but trust me it's the most fun thing in the kitchen well you can also make tiny ones you can make a large one that is absolutely a personal choice the next step is to of course steam them for this i'm using a large vessel adding in a cup full of water and just to give it like an elevation i'm going to place a small little cup like so place the cover and allow this to come to a roll boil let's check the vessel for its steam that looks perfect let's place idia pump plate carefully the idia pumps are steamed and ready and these piping hot thread hoppers now of course get served with piping hot chicken bhuna you can of course serve this with a wedge of lime topped with some black pepper and some coriander basic simple and for the combination of best players in the stadium in my opinion this certainly would be the best combination of food on a plate